Hello everyone and welcome to my Nora Bay Farms here in Stardew Valley. My name is Melanie V. Thanks for joining me today. It is now the 27th of fall. Just a couple of days left of the season. Good luck day. And we can pick up our pickaxe from Clint. Okay, let me just put some of this stuff away for now. Where am I storing my elixirs? I need to get this, these chests in order. But winter is coming, so I'm going to have plenty of time to do that. Grab the bro over here, as well as the pomegranate. And I'll store the pomegranate seeds in pomegranates in there. And one more eggplant. We got some honey. And we are going to water these crops because they have one day left. Looks like there is some sweet potatoes ready. And I believe the beets are all just gonna be ready tomorrow on the final day. So we'll water these forage crops down here. Let's get on the watering can. Let's go over and check on the animals. Hello animals. We've only got a couple days left of fun times outside. Let's get the milk pail out. So once I get, uh, oh, I don't need to milk the, the, the poor pig. <laughs> oh, how awkward for that poor pig. <laughs> Not seeing any truffles being produced. I don't know if I just can't find them or what is happening to them. But once I do have my, uh, my first shed, I'm going to look to get a couple auto grabbers for the barn and the coop. So I am going to need, oh, it looks like I can put some more pumpkins. There we go. So I am going to need a lot of wood. I don't think I have enough. So let me head down to Clint and get my axe back, so at least. So, this and this. Well, could I take out my trash as well? Okay, to Clint. Hey, ma'am. Oh, it's the Spirit Eve Festival, so I missed my chance to get my axe yesterday, and now I have to wait for it. That really stinks. Because I can't cut anything down, so I'll have to wait a little while longer to get the shed started. Well, that's okay. We can just work on something else for now. Um, like clearing this farm area, but I'm gonna head up to the train station area and drop off these trash so I can get another quest completed. Oh, got seen with Susan. Melanie V, hello. I'm refreshing my little guys with 
patented homemade fertilizer. Nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus are part of what makes Emerald Farms produce delicious. Just add sunshine, water, and some love and you've got yourself a profitable season. Emerald Farm is small in comparison to Manure Bay Farm. I can't imagine managing that much space. How are you able to keep up with all that land? Honestly, because I never take breaks, <laughs> I automate watering with sprinklers. Oh, I've tried crafting sprinklers, but I can't seem to get the plumbing just right. I'm amazed you can craft with sophisticated devices. With how many acres my Norway farm covers, if you want to use all that space, automation is probably a must. I don't think it'd be possible for one person to maintain unless you hired a few farm hands to help. Most farmers near Pelican Town are small enough to be self-sufficient, but the orchards in Chesterfield bring on seasonal help for the harvest. I need to finish the fertilizing before the afternoon heat hits. Talk to you soon. Susan was in a cheerful mood today. Okay. That was kind of an odd cutscene. These in there. See if there's any forage up here right here. Some wild plum. Okay. So let's back to the farm and let's uh let's do a little bit of clearing and get ready for the spirit eve festival so i want to let put down some of the pathing but the one that i really want to make is so expensive to make because it requires a lot of clay and I don't have a bunch of clay so I'm not sure what I should do instead maybe I actually should wait until till it's winter time when I'm actually redoing the farm the layout a little bit I'm going to redo the crop areas for sure. Maybe I should hold off for a bit. Yeah. Okay, so let's put some of this stuff away. Put these tools away that I don't need. And let me actually grab this side some of this hay. I don't know if I need any hay. Yeah, I can get a little bit of hay in here. Oh, looks like it did not pet my Animals. No animals. Did I even collect the eggs today? Maybe not. I did not. There we go. We will take those. Yet another duck feather. And we'll definitely start saving up on those. Because there is a couple of the villagers that really like the duck feathers. Uh, 
Okay, let's see what's over here. Some more forage. We will definitely take those. Some up here. Let's see if there's any rocks up here that I can clear. No change in there yet. I think I have to still get a scene with Robin regarding that that shed. Okay, so let's maybe head to the mines and just collect a little bit more iron ore. Oh, there is a truffle. I can see it. There's the one spot that I can see the truffle in. And we're not going to spend too long in the mines, obviously, because we're going to have to be back in time for the scurvy festival. Let's see if there's any forts up here. Anything good? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get down to the mines. Get some of that iron ore. level 40 and just go down. Kill these dust brides. Drop this iron down here. I'll also take the quartz. Oh, the desert trader, he trades, I think it's bombs I can get with the quartz, maybe. So I'm gonna maybe keep a bit of a stockpile of quartz. Let's check all these crates up here. Oh, some frozen geodes, nice. And, oh, some coal, awesome. Well, down here. Ah, hardwood. In the mind. Oh, a diamond. Very nice. Okay, we can head down. Come on, give us some more iron ore. There we go. Oh, there's a bunch of dust sprites over there. Might as well collect this big rock here. Oh, there is quite a few dust sprites in this level. a few enemies on this level actually let's get in this crate nothing okay let's head down Not much on this level, so we'll go on down. Some iron ore right away. There's a 
23 pieces. So that's not too bad. Oh, I get that spread down here in a coffee bean. You know, I have yet to find an ancient seed. And to think, like, early, very early in the game, when I first started, I did have to re-record one episode where I did find an ancient seed. And I have not found one since. Uh, an unfested level, but it's the spirit of keep time, so let's just go ahead and head back to the bus stop. We'll check a few of these things away. Okay, let's just head out. what interesting things happen at the Spirit Eve. Now the Spirit Eve in this expanded playthrough, it's a little bit different than the vanilla game. I'm going to try to talk to as much of the villagers as I can. Oh look, he's all dressed up. <laughs> That's fantastic, I love that. Lyle's always dressed up. Pure Spice Pumpkin character is amazing. Julia. Hi Emily, do you like the jack lanterns? I carved them myself. I went into maze and gave up. <laughs> Mother won't let me go into the maze. Aw, poor guy. Once I got lost in the maze, that's why I no longer go into it. I'm mostly here for the food. Hello, wizard. Hello, Melanie V. Have you entered the maze? I deployed surprises for anyone who dares enter. Interesting. So these are the shadow brutes. They look menacing. They are. Mm, there is kill. Okay, so let's try to get past. And see what's up here. Has but let's talk to Jazz and Marnie. Okay, Pierre, what do you have for us? We will take this recipe. And I do want the rare crow. But do I want to pay for the rare crow right now? Oh uh, boy. Um, I'll leave it. Is there anything else? Oh. I might regret that. Eek, I'm too scared. Okay, so the one of the things that's different in the expanded uh, playthrough is the maze is different. And it changes each year. So it can be tricky to get through. It's not the right way. wrong way. <laughs> like I said, it can be kind of tricky <laughs> to get through. Oh, right here. Here we go. And we got our golden pumpkin. 
and back we go. And yeah, I'm not going to go try to track down all of these. The villagers because I don't want to get lost any more than I already am. So I'll just head back out and I think I am going to purchase the rare crow. Okay, there we go. And we can head back to the farm. I need to sell anything. Um, no, I'm just gonna store this stuff. Install this coffee. And can I make any more cakes? No. And let me see what it takes to make the preserved jars. Coal. Hmm. I already have a few pieces of coal. So I will sell at least four. Get a little extra money back from my big spend of 5,000 Gs. Let's head to bed. Okay, and we made 5,000 back, so not too bad overall. Okay, new Queen of the Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish artichoke dip. Okay, and it looks like it's a Susan's birthday. It's a bad luck day. So maybe we can actually get our axe today back from Clint. So we can harvest up the last of the crops. Now I'm not going to clear anything because I'm going to replant some stuff in winter time so it's just easier to have it handled by clearing the decayed crops later on oh there's so much to harvest today this is just like perfect timing on a lot of these crops mm, i can't think of what i should get for susan with stuff. Let's sell some of these cranberries. All the foraging. And the last of the beets, a few bell peppers. Okay, so definitely going to be able to craft a few more seeds of the fall seeds. Wonderful. Okay, anything left to harvest? Nope, looks like we got it all. Let's check the mail. Oh, 
We've gotten a fiber seeds recipe from Linus. Cool. And a fish taco recipe. Awesome. <laughs> and 530 G's from Pierre. And a rebate. Interesting. Let's sell some more of these uh, crops here. So sell all the bell peppers. Sell all the corn. Oh, I have my golden pumpkin. And I need to put the 10 beets into Evelyn's fridge for the quest from Mr. Key. And then I'll keep some in my storage here. I'll keep 10 of those. And I'll sell the rest. And I'll put this in here for now. So I'll sell that. And sell that. I'm not going to sell my golden pumpkin. I'm going to save that. That's actually one of the things that can be a good gift for the, the NPCs. Some of these to smelt. And let's see what we have for the port seeds. Take that. Take this. Okay, so we have got 26 of the wild plums, and we have enough of the hazelnuts, so we'll have enough of the blackberries as well. Let me store the blackberries, and I'll just grab out the lower quality ones. I said 26. You can keep back three of those, and yeah, we'll use these. Perfect. We'll sell all those. Sell these mushrooms, and we will sell these and these. So with that new fiber seed recipe from Linus, we can plant, um, these will give us fiber crops and we just need mixed seed sap and clay for it. So being that we're so short on clay, I'm not gonna be crafting too much of that just yet, but that gives us an incentive to keep these mixed seeds though. store this here for now. Put my tools away. Um, I'll put the seed maker into the greenhouse. And I'll put this into the gifting chest. And we'll just keep the seeds down here for now. Put the seed maker in there as well as well to scarecrow. And I'll put this with the tools. So what can I give to Susan? I have no idea what she likes. Susan, Susan, Susan. Yeah, I have nothing on her whatsoever. So I think I'm going to give her a flower. So I'll grab a sweet pea. And hopefully she likes it. I'll make it a gold quality one. What is this doing in here? Okay, so let's head up to see Susan. And first we're going to get our axe back from Clint. See if we can't get enough wood to get our shed started today.
Okay, Sheila. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll definitely be chopping faster at least. Hello, Pam. Here we got here that we can chop down. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's go down to Let's actually grab the wood from here and go up by the back woods. Okay, we'll grab that on our way back. And we'll chop down all the, the trees in here. that. We'll obviously grab as much foraging as we can find. Oh, there was one hiding behind a tree there. That was a stealth piece of hazelnut. Oh, can we get this? sure if I need 500 pieces of wood or the 550. I'm just going to try to get to 550. That way I know it's enough. And that should be good. Oh, that's seen. And the Linus is in the lake without any clothes on. Ah, that feels good. <laughs> the water never has been cleaner. Now it's dirty again because you're polluting it. Well, I'm glad we could help you out with that, Linus. Oh, there's a wild plum hiding right here. Take that. And let's go see. Oh, there's another wild plum over there. Oh, another cutscene. This one with Robin. Hi, Melanie V. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood, Melanie V? Um, a few things, yes. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. I've learned how to make the flute block and the drum block. Awesome. Okay. And let's get... A shed. There we go. Oh, it's only 300 wood. Okay, we'll put that in there. And once that is built, we can start moving some of our, our keg and our all of our processing stuff in to the shed. Now we'll take this wild plum over here. Get some more wood. I'm still level 9 at foraging. So chopping wood definitely will increase my foraging skills. I'm going to 
take a look in East Carp. See if there's any forage over there we can collect before the change of the season. Oh, I got the beat button to the mayor's house as well. Anything up here? No. Oh, shiny spot. Oh, got some coal out of that. That's good. Back on the head it goes, because it's stylish. Form and function. Okay, so let's take a look over here. Oh, cutscene. Oh, there's a duck in there. Hello, Farmer Melanie B. Have you come to visit my new friend? Do you know that he is what he is, Melanie B? Um, a duck, an emperor wood duck, a russet bellied quackster. Who cares? It's just a bird. An emperor wood duck. I don't know. Wow, you really know your birds. I don't, I, I guess. <laughs> You've come a long way, haven't you, Mr. Wood Duck? All the way from Gator. That's hundreds and hundreds of miles. You must be hungry. Don't feed him bread, it's really bad for ducks. The duck got angry. <laughs> what can I feed him then? Um, corn, lettuce, peas, oats, even seeds. Okay. But it's best if he finds his own food. I'm gonna talk to Dad. He doesn't look hurt, but it's weird for him to be here. Maybe he blew over in a storm or escaped from a bird park. I've got to go now. Come visit again soon. Just don't bring bread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Duck. Oh, another cutscene. Farmer! Hello, Farmer Melanie B. You've come to visit us? So this is where they live. Dad's in the barn. Want to come and meet the animals? Ah, uh, sure. Follow me. Dad will be so happy to see you. We were talking about you and your firm and... Come on. What are you waiting for? Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, Ellie, everything okay? Everything's great. Farmer Melanie V's coming to meet the animals. Oh, Ellie. It's good to see you, Melanie V. Sorry, I'm a bit of a mess. I wasn't expecting a guest. You and me both, but that's the farming life. There's a there's straw in your hair. As long as we don't shake hands, you're good. Sorry to jump in uninvited. Now, what should I say? Um, let's go with the first one. <laughs> yes, you're right, of course. It isn't very glamorous, is it? But there's no life I'd rather lead. Well... Welcome to our barn. Feel free to stop by if you need any advice. Animals here are generally pretty healthy, but Dad helped injured wild animals too, and there's been loads of them. Yes, Melanie V, there are predators around. I recommend you keep your livestock in at night. Ooh. Anyways, Ellie, why don't you introduce Farmer Melanie V to the animals? 
This is Lord Sherbert. He's an alpaca. They're the llama's friendly cousin. And over here we have his girlfriend, Lady Snowflake. <laughs> this is so adorable. I love this. Okay. I should come over here more often. Okay, so I guess this is their house? No, this is, uh, this is Aideen's house. I wonder if I can chop the trees in here. I can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, somebody was drinking beer up here. And what is up here? So, is this their house then? But I can't get in. Yeah, because that was the barn. Okay. Zadine. Yeah, Jacob is definitely starting to grow on me a bit. Okay, any forage around here? Nope, nope, nope. Wait, let's head back to town. Let me check on at the beach area here. Just a couple of beach forage. Okay, and let's go turn these beets into May Lewis's fridge and get to the next step in the quest. <gasps> I still didn't get anything to Susan. I thought I had something. Maybe I'll just give her like this cool blackberry. I don't know what else to give her. I don't know her well enough. But first we'll go to the mayor. Then we'll head up to see Susan. Hello, Mayor Lewis. They came to put stuff in your fridge. We need to give the sand dragon its last meal, so we'll have to go to the desert for that. Say hi to Penny and to Maru. Do I have gifts for either of you? Yeah. I don't, I'm sorry. Maybe we'll see... Nope, she's not in here. I was hoping we can find Susan here, but... No luck. Let's head up to the farm. Give her this blackberry and hope she likes it. Oh, quest. I can really go for a ride PM. I'll pay you you when you bring it. Oh, 480 for a yam. I think I sold some. No, I have yams. I don't know if I have yams or not. Hey, Sheila, what are you doing up here? Oh, you're... I don't know what she was doing up there. Hey, Robin. Okay. This may not be a great gift. I don't know. I see that I came all this way to give you this blackberry. Oh, a birthday gift. Thank you. Let's see what she thought of that. Okay. It's of no consequence to her. So we won't be giving her that again. We just need to figure out what it is that she does like and give her that next time.
Okay, so we'll craft up the last of these uh, summer seeds. Not summer, fall seeds. And ship it. We'll take this. Grab this. And might as well get some more pumpkins into this one. Okay, so we got two more. We'll grab one of you. It's a view. And we got the mushrooms. I'm going to sell this and this. Yeah, there we go. Anything else we can sell? Sell that and that. There we go. Oh, I think I meant to sell that. That's why I took it out of the chest, yes. Oh, I took the wrong set of beach. I took my gold quality ones. No, why did you do that? Oh well. Take the stone and we'll put it away. Tools away. Let's put this into the processing. And can we craft anything additional right now? No. Okay, so we will head to bed. Oh, no, it's only 9.20. We're not heading to bed. That's crazy talk. Getting an axe back out and get some wood. That's a dangerous way to get wood. Very dangerous. Okay, let's head out to Cindersap and just cut down the trees around there. There's Lyle. I wonder what Lyle likes. Whereas Marius is quite an interesting fella when you get to know him. He has a lot of interesting stories. Cool. I do like Rosmodias. There's so many good choices for marriage candidates in the expanded universe. I'm not sure who I'm going to go with. It's going to be a difficult choice. Maybe I have to like marry and divorce. Which I never wanted to do previously, but, you know, I kind of want to explore these options. Okay, there's quite a bit more wood. I'm definitely not going to cut any oak trees down out here. But pine and maple is fair game. Okay, so it's almost midnight. So cut a couple more. And then we'll head back to the farm and to bed. Okay, so 287 more wood. So not, not too bad. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I didn't buy the heater. 
Oh, two trap bombs. I forgot to buy the heaters. I will have to get them tomorrow. Because I don't want unhappy animals. I'm going to have to make a truffle maker as well. But let me put my tool away. I'll get out the watering can and the hoe. And hopefully we can get the winter forage completed on winter one. Okay, what did we make? Oh, it's quite a bit of money. Oh my goodness. So, $12,000 for the seeds. Very nice. So, 28000 overall for the day. It's a pretty good day. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.